Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today we'll talk about database lock in clinical trials. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Clinical trials are exercises in data generation and management. They are paramount in the development of new drugs, medical devices, and treatment protocols. The role of data in clinical trials is fundamental as it forms the basis upon which conclusions are drawn and decisions are made. It is within this context that the concept of database lock in clinical trials arises. But what is a database? In simple terms, a database is an organized collection of data stored and accessed electronically. In the context of clinical trials, a database might contain information about patient demographics, medical histories, test results, and trial outcomes. There are several types of databases used in clinical trials. These include electronic data capture systems, where data is entered directly into an electronic system, and clinical data management systems, which manage and store all trial data. What is the importance of data management in clinical trials? Data management in clinical trials is the process of collecting, cleaning, and managing data to ensure its quality and integrity. This role typically falls to data managers who perform tasks such as designing case report forms, validating data, managing databases, and preparing datasets for statistical analysis. The value of accurate and reliable data cannot be overstated. It ensures that the results of the trial are valid and that the safety and efficacy of the drug or intervention can be accurately determined. Let us now start understanding database lock in clinical trials. Database lock refers to the process where all modifications to the database are halted, effectively locking it. This usually occurs after all data has been collected, cleaned, validated, and reviewed. The process involves a series of steps including finalizing all data entry, resolving all queries, performing a final validation of the database, and finally locking it to prevent any further changes. A database is typically locked at the end of a clinical trial before the statistical analysis begins. This is done to ensure data integrity and consistency throughout the analysis process. However, in some cases, a database may also be locked at interim stages of a trial. What is the impact of database lock on clinical trials? Database lock has a significant impact on clinical trials. It signals the cessation of data collection and the commencement of data analysis marking a major milestone in the trial process. The primary advantage of a database lock is that it ensures data integrity by preventing further changes that might affect the results of the analysis. On the other hand, once a database is locked, any errors that were not detected and corrected before the lock are difficult to rectify. And what is the role of data managers in database lock? data managers play a pivotal role in the process of database lock. Their responsibilities include ensuring that all data has been correctly entered and validated, managing any queries related to the data, and performing the final validation before the lock. To effectively manage this process, data managers require a keen eye for detail, an understanding of data quality standards, and proficiency in using database management systems. In summary, database lock in clinical trials is a critical step that ensures the integrity and consistency of trial data prior to analysis. While it presents its own set of challenges, effective management can mitigate these risks. For those starting out in data management or research, understanding the concept and implications of database lock is vital. As you continue to delve deeper into this field, you will discover that effective data management is at the heart of successful clinical trials. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research.
We look forward to see you next time.